live on air and I'm Tears and Maribel reporting live. We have cameras placed around the areas of Dr. Charter School of Miami Shores displaying the hustle and bustles of students early in the morning. We now interrupt your current brainwashed nonsense to focus on what really matters, education. It seems as if students across Florida have been failing their biology EOCs. It's a shame how lazy our students have become. In other words, we are here to educate you on a very difficult topic, macromolecules. Hello, science world. We're here to talk about macromolecules. Before we get into it, we need to find first about its origin. Macromolecules were discovered by a guy who was clearly living under a rock because he obviously had nothing better to do with his life. Macromolecules, as said on Wikipedia, is the reason we exist. Whoa, whoa, whoa! If you're gonna give these students the right information, you should at least make sure it's scientifically correct. You think you could do my job better? Yeah, of course. Alright, where have you heard it? Here on CNN. Coming up next, Jar gives a crash course in micromolecules. Listen up, boy, get this through your head. I come in pasta, I come in some bread. I'm a macromolecule. Some say I'm tasty, some haven't had a bite of me lately. I'm a carb. I'm made for energy, I'm found in your rice, and your veggies broken down and made into glucose, corn syrup that contains fructose. Now hold up. Before I get livid, what type of macromolecule is a lipid? I look like a lipid, don't you see? You can tell by my youth obesity. Hydrophobic in my head, hydrophilic in my tail. I don't agree with fruits or kale. I'm a saturated triglyceride, mono, di, and polysaccharide. I'm a steroid, testosterone, and estrogen. My whole system works like an engine. I'm in chicken, milk, and cheese too. If you like how I taste, we'll stick together like glue. I'm a chain, a peptide bond, 20 amino acids, not beyond. I help with digesting growth and muscles too. All the things your body goes through. Protein gives you strength that your body needs to be a strong, healthy, lean machine. DNA is the building block of our own existence. The code to our living with no resistance. Form in the shape of a double helix inside yourself so you won't feel it. Wanting it to the scene, diming and adenine. Ask me how to do it, I'll say it's in my genes. RNA is a single strand. I help carry out DNA's plans. My nucleic acid, we found in cells. I help carry out instructions of intel. Adenine and uracil, guanine and cytosine. Nucleic acids work together as a team. That's the four type of macromolecules. The ones you need for your body to use. Well, you've heard it, folks. I might as well change this new cast to Bust the Cell. Ha ha ha! Well, that rap was great and all, but you missed quite a few of information. In your rap, you left out organic molecules, which are molecules that contain carbon. The four main types of organic molecules are carbohydrates, lipids, nuclear acids, and proteins. You left out monomers that bond on other molecules to become polymers, and that Nucleotides consist of five nitro genus based located in DNA and RNA. That glycerol is used in soaps and nucleotides. What about trans fat, that being the worst fat you can possibly eat? Or how about unsaturated fat, being healthier than saturated fat because saturated fat turns solid at room temperature while unsaturated fat turns into liquid at room temperature? That phosphorus is a nutrient vital to humans and plant life. You left out starch, which is a solid carbohydrate located in foods such as rice and cereal. And the cellulose is an organic molecule. And that fatty acids are found in fats and oils. More things that you failed to mention is that hydrogen bond is attracted between polar molecules. So no Joyenska, you can't do better at my job than me.
I hope you enjoyed our crash course of micromolecules. I'm Tears and Marable, and we're out.